Hello, my name is Simonaz, and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today, I got the Dream Eater Dagger on my rogue, and this video will be a quick summary of how to start and how to complete the quest for your very own Dream Eater on your rogue. Our mission starts in Blackwing Lair from the item Intelligence Findings that drops from the first boss, Razorgore the Untamed. It isn't a guaranteed drop. It appears to be a 50-50, either the Warlock quest item or the Rogue quest item. If you're lucky enough to get Intelligence Findings, you can right-click it to start the first quest in the chain, called the Dark Horde. One note before we proceed. It sounds like you'll need to have completed the Honor Among Thieves rune quest from Phase 3 to be able to do this Dream Eater quest line. My rogue already had this done, but some community members said they couldn't do their Dream Eater quest until they completed Honor Among Thieves. Anyways, the Dark Horde quest sends you into the Blackrock Spire dungeon. Like many of our other dungeon quests, you'll need to go in alone, and having stealth boosts like Master of Subtlety Talent, Dark Mantle Boots, or your Filcher's Cowl Cloak are not necessary, but definitely make this easier. In the lower portion of Blackrock Spiral, you'll be headed to the area where the Quartermaster Zygris boss is normally located. Prior to Zygris's area, you'll find a dragon called Rage Talon Quartermaster. Pickpocket this guy for the storehouse key and then head up the ramp. The storehouse key opens the storehouse door and inside you'll find the Blackrock Reliquary. Open this and you'll come face to face with a Syndicate Rogue. After a short fight, the Rogue will relent and speak with you. The Syndicate Rogue allows you to complete the Dark Horde quest and then offers the Enemy of My Enemy quest. Accept it and head over to Ravenholt Manor in Hillsbrad. You'll complete the Enemy of My Enemy by talking to Farad, Grandmaster Rogue of Ravenholt. He will then offer you the quest Into the Hold of Shadows. This quest takes you all the way to Jadenar in Felwood, where you'll find an instance portal here where there is not usually a portal. Zone in alone for another stealth mission. Just like in Blackrock Spire, having stealth boosting effects and talents are not required, but they do make this much easier. This is a long winding cave and I'm playing the route on fast forward here so you can see it all. You'll need to make it all the way through here without being detected. If you are detected, you'll get a debuff that says so, and you'll have to zone out, reset, and try again. When trying to pass by the Fellhounds, be sure to use Distract. It looks like these enemies have some bonus stealth detection. Eventually, deep in the cave, you'll cross a bridge and see Caius Blackwood on the other side, near three magical blue pedestals. As you approach him, you should get quest completion credit if you've done the stealth portion correctly, and he'll begin a dark ritual to forge the Dream Eater. His ritual will fail thanks to the sabotaged Talisman of Kazdor we gave him in Phase 3. After the explosion, you can attack and kill Caius, and then loot Caius's Dream Eater from his body. With Caius' Dream Eater in hand, you're ready to return to Farad in Ravenhold. A quick chat with Farad and he will award you the epic Dream Eater Dagger. And that's it! Congratulations, you now have a weapon that is best in slot for every single rogue PvE talent specialization in Phase 5, and I'd have to imagine we might be using this even later than Phase 5. This weapon is insanely powerful for Mutilate, and I had a blast doing Blackwing Lair as Mutilate right after getting this sweet dagger. The video for that raid will be going up on the Simon Eyes Show TV VODs channel a few days after this video is live. So check out the link down below in the video description to the Simon Eyes Show TV VODs channel if you want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun in World of Warcraft, and I hope you have a great day.